guys, so today we will, or actually this week, we will paint something new. I will paint a finished piece, an A4 finished piece, every day for seven days. So let's see how that goes. Hello everyone. This week I decided to challenge myself, get a bit uncomfy and try painting every day. I love drawing and painting and sketching, but it's been a while since I made actual pieces consistently like this. I used to do it when I was relatively new to Instagram. I think after school I came home, did my homework, and then sat down for an hour or two to draw something for myself and just unwind and get the stress of the day away. I knew that this challenge would be more of a test to see if I can come up with stuff on each day and execute it how I want to. Time wasn't my biggest worry since I think I am pretty good at my time management, but yes, there were some issues and problems that I will talk about more in the video. For day one, I did this sad bird. I was feeling blue, the sky was feeling blue and rainy, so I decided to put that on paper. This soaring bird has come down to find solace and reveal its sorrow. This week offered me a chance to really engage with my thoughts and reflect. I realized something crucial that I had somehow missed or maybe subconsciously ignored. I am a creature of habit, doing things the same old way. To be honest, this all started with me being frustrated by Instagram's engagement. My recent pieces were not doing so well as they used to, and I was feeling kind of blue, like the bird, putting my worth into these numbers. Somehow they decided if I was feeling happy or not, which is stupid. Of course, numbers do show some kind of value a tiny bit, but we should never let them take over. I researched a lot about why the numbers are so low and realized it's not my fault. Instagram is weird and that's also a tiny reason why I decided to join YouTube. But this research gave me the courage to change my habits. I finally decided to let go of this weird, straight, proper path I had set for myself on how I present myself on Instagram or just, I guess, anywhere digitally. I think somehow I had decided that that's the way it should be and that I can't change anything. How silly is that? We can always change things if we have a feeling that's tugging on us and we feel weird, like something isn't right. We should pause and listen for a moment. I know that people usually hate change, it's scary, it's making us question, but most of the time this change can open so many doors for us. And a lot of people miss out on that because they are scared or think it's not possible. If we really want something, it is possible. We cannot see the best view if we don't climb the highest mountains. Okay, I'm tuning in to say it's day two. I've decided to draw a fox to keep it simple and I'm kind of in a pink mood. I don't know if I said that or I will be saying it, but yeah, feeling kind of pinkish. I don't know if this rambling makes sense, but what I did, I changed my patterns on Instagram. I allowed myself to be less uptight about the pictures I make. I engaged more, I'm having more fun with everything because of my tiny habit changes. Day two, I painted a fox. I was really craving some pink in my life, so I decided to put a pink underpainting for this fox piece. I knew that this nice orange and blue tinted white color and all the purples would work well with my desire of pink. It is one of the simpler pieces of this week. 
Not that all of them are very complex. I wasn't striving for masterpieces. I just wanted to do an A4 piece every day. It's been like two days, I think. Well, no, I, I know, but um, it's going okay. I already drew or painted, I guess, two pieces. This one is not yet finished because it's still day two. Um, but yeah, I kind of like this one. Super flowy, super nice. Um, but yeah, we shall see what happens tomorrow. So it's day three of the challenge. I have already painted two pieces and yeah, today is a sunny day and well, it's kind of cloudy, but I hope it will be sunny. So yeah, let's go. Day three, I had this idea of an underwater piece with some orcas and a huge eye that illuminates them. And then halfway, I saw that it would work better digitally. I decided to scan it and finish it later. Since I already took half of my time with that, I went and drew another orca with similar style of the fox piece. More pink can never hurt anybody. I was also inspired by my recent cow piece where I have similar flowy lines on the dark colored edges. I felt a bit stupid of leaving the other piece unfinished, but for me it's hard sometimes to continue something that I just know would look better in another render style. Okay, I started painting, this is day 3. But I ran into a tiny issue. I started painting this and now I kind of feel that I could make this work more digitally. So what my plan is to scan it and continue this digitally. I won't do it now because it's gonna take me a while. Digital pieces take me way longer because I just, I love details and it's, uh, I don't know, it's fun to experiment and it feels like every piece I do, I try new techniques, so it just takes a while for me to get in the rhythm. So I decided to move my table to this wall instead of uh, this window just because I kind of felt like seeing the view and everything that's going on my table it felt a bit crowded, a bit too noisy so I think this setup is way nicer everything's here um, yeah, it just feels cleaner I'm editing this video you're watching right now um, yeah Day 4 was a redraw of one of my older pieces. 
I drew a mouse tiger and back then a lot of people really liked it but I felt like I have improved since then. I don't really see it as that great anymore but that just shows how much I have improved in my skills. So I decided to do a quick redraw and also named this piece Lost in Time. The stone tiger, having waited endlessly, has lost sight of its purpose, sorrowful and tearful, its gaze obscured by mist from the waterfalls, its slumbers witnessing the passage of time. This is the story of what I decided to give to my stone character. I have another one with lava, but that's for another time. Maybe I should give him a name, or her, I don't know. how it turned out. I kind of like it. I think the reddish pinkish lines add a lot. So it's day four of this challenge and today I'm gonna draw the fish that I wanted to draw yesterday but I started doing some other things. I got my page and we're just gonna get inspired from the fish I did before. Day 5, I decided to draw a fish similar to my recent one. I really loved playing with all the colors and decided to do a goofy version of it. And I think the goofiest fish out there is a goldfish. There's probably more, but that's my first thought. I kind of went wild with its eyes at the start and later decided to change them to more simple ones.
it has stars in its belly because what else do they have in there it's just so big i don't know i wanted to simplify this one more than what i did before i'm still finding a nice balance so i might do another one And this is the cute version. I wanted the goofy eyes, but still the colors. I think I kind of got the colors more vibrant, at least in these parts. So I'm happy with that. Um, of course, there might be some things that I would love to change, but this is the result. Um, it's day six. I kind of missed out on day five just because I was going to Royal Gardens in Belgium. They have it open for I think only three weeks when everything is blooming and it was so nice. Um, and then I we and then we came back and I was really tired. I had a headache and I just couldn't draw. But that's okay. I might do two pieces. I know I've been saying that, but I will try to do it because I have ideas what I could paint today. Um, one of the paintings will be inspired kind of from yesterday. I saw some oranges or uh, tangerines. I don't know if it's oranges or tangerines but yeah I will try to paint a red panda just in like orange greenish kind of vibe. Okay this is what I decided on just I really wanted to paint oranges or I think I'm going for oranges instead of tangerines and I'm just gonna draw the red panda or paint the red panda in greens and yellows. Day 6 was inspired from my previous day's adventures from the royal gardens. 
I saw some cute geese babies and so many flowers that my nose started to feel a bit itchy. At the end of the walk I saw oranges and decided to integrate them in my last piece. My boyfriend suggested to do a red panda, so that's what I did. I also tried to make another panda piece with water, but it didn't end up the way I wanted to, so I scrapped it. I think for that piece I might have rushed myself a little. Okay, so I'm almost done with my day five, six? No, did I say six? Six. Uh, day six piece? I don't know if I like it, but uh, this happens all the time. I draw something and then I don't like it. I haven't like another version of this composition digitally, but um, not with oranges. But yeah, in the end I have six completed pieces. And if you stayed this long, then let me know which piece is your favorite. Okay, so here's my finished piece. It turned better than I thought it would. I feel like that's with all my pieces. I guess I don't really have high expectations. Um, I fixed the issue with the head blending too much with the oranges. I added some leaves. But yeah, I think it looks pretty okay now. I think from the bunch, this is my favorite one. I also like the whale a lot, and I kind of like the colors of the fish. I think all of them are pretty nice and cool. So, thank you guys for watching, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was super fun to do, uh, fun to challenge myself to think of what to draw every day. It's always a struggle, so. So yeah, I'll see you next week.